came in, you said, if you ain't first, you're last. Hello? Hello.
Welcome in, everybody out there in TV land. And we're here with some Marvel Snap. All this uses VIP access and chats into the hearts. Also redeeming first. If you're not first, you're last. And the Alex. But Alex, good to see you in, but how are you guys on this wonderful Wednesday? Guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, we're back in the Marvel Snap. We played way too much Super Metroid last night, but I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I wanted to beat it. That's all there was to it, guys. I had to beat Mother Brain. Um, so, kind of like Alex, I was absolutely exhausted this morning. Alex, why are you so exhausted, my friend? Are you are you double booking classes, work, and a five course snack time, guys? If you don't know, Alex will eat five courses for a snack. Seriously, he he lays down some of the craziest menus I've ever seen somebody eat. Uh, but Alex, why are you exhausted, my friend? What's going on? Um, we're gonna get exhausted because we're gonna go and and we're gonna hit that Marvel snap. And we're going to climb that exhausting ladder all the way to infinite or as much as we can in our stream today. We are up to 85.9. Uh, that is coming off of the, the five free ranks that we get when we got to 80. Uh, I did that off stream. Um, so all that eggs posted a couple days ago from her stream. She climbed five ranks with this uh, 50 cubes. Uh, so we're going to give it a try. We're going to take a look at this, this deck, see if it's it still got Shuri in it, right? So I'm willing to play it. That's, that's kind of the big, the big bit of it. It still has Shuri. You went to work at five 30 this morning, worked till eight 20. And then you started working on moving into your first ever apartment. That's right. Alex getting your own first apartment ever. That's exciting stuff, dude. But moves, uh, moves are the worst. They're the absolute worst. Um, well, I hope you find some time to relax. I hope you are staying hydrated and drinking plenty of uh, plenty of fluids and liquids out there. Probably some water or a water-like substitute. Oh. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get into a match. Do I have missions? I probably do. Oh, my God. That means I probably... Look at this. Look at these partially complete missions. And then all these other missions, that means uh, that means we lost some free missions, but that's okay. I'd rather play Super Metroid anyway. Got there, got there. You got all your stuff there, you just got to get set up. Dude, I uh, we got all of our stuff in here like three weeks ago. We still, ain't, we still ain't got anything set up. Oh, no internet. That's That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. You didn't drink anything till you were done, Alex, my dude. You got to stay hydrated. Those joints need hydration, my friend. No furniture yet? Yeah, you got a floor, bud. Ooh, no bed yet. I've been there, Alex. I slept on a uh, in Connecticut when I was up there in Connecticut. Uh, went up there for work. I ended up sleeping on an air mattress for like three months, and then the air mattress broke. It popped. And that's why I, I finally got a bed. But you'll get there, bud. You got all that space. And that space is not going to be there for long. So enjoy it while you've got it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this deck completely, chat. I'm not going to lie. Am I supposed to puffy jacket this? I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. I wouldn't puffy jacket it. I'm almost tempted to play this yellow jacket, though. I mean, I guess I can always do that next turn, and I don't want to destroy the Electro, and it's probably a Galactus deck. You got a bed being delivered tomorrow? Nice, Alex. Nice. One of those, um, one of those ones that just kind of fold up into a box. It comes all, all in a, a cylinder. And then you cut it open, it smacks you in the face. Because that's that's kind of mattress I picked up. And I, I gotta say, it's a decent mattress. It works out alright. 
I'm okay with it. Nah, not one of them? Okay, going for a full-on mattress, huh? A box spring, as it were. An actual mattress. Nice, nice, I dig it. Do I want to do that? Do I want to lock them out like that? I'm going to give it a try. I don't know what I'm doing with this deck, with this deck yet. Some furniture coming on Saturday. Dude, you are taking no time at all to fill it up. All right, it is Galactus. So we're, we're worried about Shang-Chi here, right? Shang-Chi's our problem. So all we have to do is beat five power. We need to somehow find five power. Well, this dodge is Shang-Chi, so that just wins, right? Oh, but it does hit the yellow jacket again. That's kind of a bummer, right? I still think that's good enough. So it's going to hit the yellow jacket again. That's going to be minus two. So I'm adding six to the board. So I'll have six. I think I'll just have six. I'm at 17 right now. Add six. All right, so I'd be at seven. I mean, I beat Shang-Chi, right? What else do I not beat? I guess I don't beat Death or Null. I guess I don't beat Null. We'll give this a chance. But yeah, dude, you're taking no time at all to, to fill out the furniture of your new place. Yeah, they had Death. Oof, oof. What a shame. All right, GG's. I should have I should have seen that coming. I mean, I guess I did see it coming. Hey, we got to we got to play the first one out to its completion. See what's out there. Try to figure out what this deck is. I mean, um, I, I haven't piloted it before. I kind of see what we're going for here. It's just it's just a bunch of good cards um, to work with with some alternate wind conditions. So I just need to be flexible. I need to keep my eyes open. And I need to just pilot this deck. But yeah, we, we moved in about, I don't know, probably about three weeks ago, Alex, and I still have stuff in boxes. Uh, there is a lot of, a lot of, um, I don't want a hazmat yet. A lot of uh, framed posters and pictures that haven't been put up yet. Uh, it's just it's just been kind of a an all in all a mess, but it's all right. It works out. Hey, thank you, Alves. I appreciate that, bud. You know we love all lurkers around here, and I appreciate the good luck. I actually really kind of like this. Wait, 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 wait. We lost Luke Cage, right? I kind of like this. I kind of like this. It knocks the point off of Space Stone, goes a, goes ahead and uh, gives us Pryo. So then we can do some fun things. Mm. I mean, I'd love to Shuri here, but it's always Wong, right? So that we can get the, the two Doctor Dooms off. Our opponent seems to like the mystery uh, Dark Dimension as well, hiding their cards. All right, they were able to get Thanos on the board, so we tie Plunder's Island. Now, the question is, do we do we end up winning Dark Dimension? We probably don't, but we have a shit ton of points on Sokovia. Oh, they get Plunder Castle back from us with the Blue Marvel. All right. All right, I felt pretty good about that one. Honestly, I feel like we, we played that pretty well. We had nothing. Uh, I mean, I guess, like, we saw a Space Stone, right? So we could have guessed it was a Blue Marvel. Interesting that they run both Carnage and the Blue Marvel right like that's very kind of suspect to be honest with you nice thanos though this is very pretty they've got the the purple crackle flare with the gold finish very very nice card why does the crackle flare not apply to the stones only the gold finish i think the crackle flare should should you know apply right Yo, Cruel Master, how is it going? Good to see you in chat. Welcome in, welcome in. All 
All right, let's see here. Yeah, we're uh, Cruel Master. We're taking eggs for sale. Uh, she didn't necessarily make the deck. She said that in the tweet. Um, but this is a deck that did really well for her, and it has Shuri in it. So we're gonna we're gonna try it out on the climb. Uh, we started at eighty five point nine. We've lost both games. Uh, the second one I felt good about. I felt like I piloted it pretty well. Our opponent just had the card. Uh, so it was probably closer to a 50-50. The first one I definitely just did not do well at. Let's view deck. All right. All right, here we just uh, soak Sunspot, right? You had a lot of fun with the Beast Monkey deck to Infinite. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm not, I've, I've not been big on like Beast and Bounce before, but I definitely see quite a bit of value in it. Um, I would very much be down to try it out some, uh, probably later on though, probably later on. And then on Sunday, when we're doing our big 12 and a half hour stream, I want to play a little bit of a deck that's going to utilize both Shadow King and uh, Valkyrie. So that should be interesting. This helps us get Doombots over our Mirror Island, right? Well, that just helps us fight Danger Room without having to put cards there. Okay. Shadow King Surfer. Ooh. Yeah, I dig that. I could see why that would be good. Yo, so we could put two more Doom Bots over there instead of just one. Or we could lay down a Hazmat and a Luke Cage and a Yellow Jacket. I actually really like this. I'm snapping on this. This is sexy. Dude, we're going to put another Dr. Doom on both those locations. We're going to hit them with another hazmat. I dig it. I dig it. I think this is going to be good. It's going to look bad, right? Because we're we're doing more damage with this hazmat, but then we loot Cage, so we pop back up. There's the Sarah. I mean, I think we've got this, right? They can't cover 16 across the entire board. Plus, I'm doing minus one on their side. So we're doing a, a total power move of 20. Basically 20, mostly focused over here on right and mid. So 20 additional power across the entire board. That's basically a split up infinite. I think we're okay here. Yeah, I think Shadow King Surfer, or King, King Shadow, Shadow King, holy smokes. Uh, I think him and Surfer might be really cool. Right now that he's a three cost. Um... I don't know. He's just, he's just, I think he's definitely better now. I think bringing him down like that was a huge move. I think it makes a lot of sense because being able to pop your, your cards back up. Speaking of shadow King, there he was. Holy smokes. There's the surfer. Speaking of shadow surfer, Coral master. Did you see this happening? Did you know that this was going to happen? You've been seeing a lot of it. Well, we're seeing it right here live on stream. And this deck is beating it out for four cubes. We'll do our GG's. Uh, they're probably not happy about that because we did win. Oh, they GG'd back. So I don't think they mind. Yo, dad tactical. What's cook? Wait, how's it go? Hey, hey, wait, auto tuned, right? Hey, hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How about cooking something up with me? That's what I always think about when uh, when I see like what's cooking and good looking going together. If you don't know, that's a that's a country song. If I didn't put enough twang in it for you, you never seen Groot though. Most people just run with Jug and Max. Uh, yeah, maybe they just really like Groot. I don't know, or maybe they're maybe they're a lower collection level. They're not full collection. It's definitely possible I could queue up against some folks that aren't full collection level. I'm pretty sure it's happened for me in the past. Now, this is interesting. Like, I almost want to snap on this, but all we have is Shuri, right? Now, they feel really good. That's interesting. All right, well, let's... Let's see what we can do here. Listen to a bunch of country? I had a, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Wow, we get the Odin... 
This could be a four power. This could be a four power. These are all very sexy options, right? What if we just soak Sunspot? That's probably pretty good, right? I don't know what we're playing on five. Probably nothing, to be honest with you, but... Yeah, I'm worried about this one. I am. I mean, I'm guessing our opponent is... I don't really know. With them playing Goose, Mysterio, Nova, some kind of Sarah deck. Oh, there's the Hawk. Interesting. There's the Hawk. I think they want to play a lot more, right? It feels like something that where they'd play a lot more. Uh, so Wave here is probably good for us. If we Wave, that means that... Hmm, means that we really only have Odin next turn. And then we don't really get much fun from Luke Cage, right? Is Luke Cage that important this match? Do I need to knock them down a bit? I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to. I really kind of feel like this is this is just a strong move. But then we probably want Hazmat mid, right? So that we get the Odin again? I put Shuri in the wrong spot. I definitely put Shuri in the wrong spot. Out of time. Oh my gosh, I took way too long for that. Oh, full, full day of entertainment. There you go, Cruel Master. I'm excited for it. We'll probably do mostly all Marvel Snap. If I get, like, if I need a break from ladder, which could definitely happen, right? Then I'll, uh, I'll back off a little bit and see about changing it up, but. They have Sarah, so they get to play two cards. Which isn't great. And all we can really do is add eight. Which also isn't great. Did they did they possibly retreat too? No. Nope. They had something. Alright. Yeah, them being able to play two cards was really scary there. It's alright. That's alright. We're currently one in one to three with this deck. We've got a win rate of 25%, negative four cubes, but you'd expect a brand new deck to kind of suffer a little bit as you learn it, you know? Yeah, so Curl Master, we might, I don't know, we might do, we might start the day. I haven't decided yet, but we might start the Sunday with some crowd control. Not the big event, not you guys versus me in Mario World, but just some crowd control. Get you guys uh, some coins, allow you to save up there, you know? Um, I'm fucking tilted. What the absolute fuck? How do you get the most perfect fucking reality stone to just screw me over that immensely amazingly? Wow. Wow. Insane. In sane. I have to play this here now. Because I need this. Yo, Goody. Gooey. Heidi. Ho, Snapperinos. How you doing today, Gooey? You know, we're here with our Wednesday stream, trying out a carton of eggs. I saw Eggs post this on Twitter. It did really well for her. She got up 50 cubes. Um, we're, just, we're still learning how to play it. We've won one out of four games with it. A negative net cube of negative four. But that's to be expected when we start a new deck, right? And we're starting to learn it. I, I do like it. It looks really good. Uh, it's got a lot of different avenues in it, different lines in it. And I think in general, it's just just a bunch of good cards. 
Uh, work wasn't too brutal, Gooey. I definitely slept in a little bit longer, uh, but it was an office day, which is actually normally pretty light anyway. Um, yeah, I need that Odo for the, you know that's what I'm looking for, Coral Master, that Odin, which we have not found yet. Um, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't terrible, it was not terrible. I I got through it. I I slept. I don't know, a couple of hours. Uh, probably six, probably six hours. I probably got six hours of sleep, honestly, which is not bad. Wow. Okay. So no, uh, didn't end up being Galactus. It would have been a good call though. It would have been a good play. I got a big Odin, but like, who gives a shit at this point? Because we missed off on the Wong. And we don't have the Luke Cage. They have priority, though. Is there a world where this wins? We're just this wins. Probably not, right? Yeah, if we could have done Absorbing Man here. It also synergizes with the Zabu, right? I, I think we're supposed to retreat this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I wanna see if this plays off. No, that's not enough. <laughs> Got him! Got him! I can't believe that worked! Holy smokes! Get fucked, Bozo. Yeah, get fucked, Bozo. Holy smokes! Yeah, we could have done that after. You're right. We definitely could have done that. In my head, I was like, I don't want things on the board. But if they come if they come down after Hazmat, they don't get punished. So we could have really won that a lot more. Okay. Okay. This deck is this deck is start. I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see this deck a little bit. I'm starting to see what's happening. I just dead tactile. I just don't know why. Honestly, I don't know why I can't. I can't tell you. I had cage down. I didn't think I had. Oh, I did have cage down. You're right. They could have voted in the mid the arrow too. True, 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 true. Yeah, I forgot. I I totally looked over cage because I didn't play cage. It came from the quantum tunnel, and I I don't know. In my head, I was just I lost the card I was looking for because I didn't play it. All right, how does that do us? That puts us at a 40% ridden weight with negative two cubes. Wow, Eternity Range? Should I try to go for Eternity Range? Kind of hard. I, mean, I guess we can put Yellow Jacket down, but that's not really great for us, right? We have to play something. We just have to play something. This one's probably a retreat. Because we just did not get good draw. Yeah, this is the channel of misplays and mispronunciations. 100% dad. Hmm. Yeah, you got this, brother. You got this. Take the one cube. Take the one cube. Oh, we're looking for a t-shirt. This one is uh, Link versus the uh, Aganim, the, the wizard that turns into Ganon, invokes Ganon and Link to the past. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's got some green screen effect, but it's, it's a pretty good one. It's also a GDQ shirt. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another one that I got during a GDQ event. Ordered it from either the Yeti or uh, Fan Gamer. Woo. Yeah, right? So you got Link. 
dodging the lightning bolts because that's not what you can play tennis with. Let me go over here. It'll be a little bit more one color instead of the multiverse. Maybe, maybe pet the cat with the wizard's hand. Anyway, sorry, I was having too much fun with the green screen. So yeah, this one's a good one. I wore this one to work today. I'm lucky enough to have a job where they don't care if I'm in a t-shirt and jeans. At least not at the office I went to today. And I also didn't have any like client facing meetings or anything, right? So it was just me sitting in an office talking like I got to see some coworkers. Like that's the the reason I went into the office today was just like see coworkers. We're trying to promote an at least a one one day a month in office day so that you can, you know, socialize and yeah, meet friends. people. Maybe. Yo, Jinsu13 hitting us up with a follow. Thank you, friend. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we are. I got to set up a new follower goal, but we did hit 1,250 followers. And for that, we're getting 12 and a half, 12 and a half hours worth of stream um, this Sunday. I can't get Doom down early, unfortunately. They snapped, which is a little scary. We do have the Hazmat, the Wong, the Luke Cage. I mean, I think I'm okay here. You streamed uh, CT Randomizer earlier today. Nice, Gooey. Nice. Uh, which one's CT? Uh, what do I do if I don't mind sharing that information? I'm a software programmer, essentially. Technical architect. Chrono Trigger. Of course it's Chrono Trigger. You know, what's funny is if you went to put CT there, Gooey, and if you said, so I streamed a randomizer run, I would have assumed it was Chrono Trigger. Right? I would have assumed it was Chrono Trigger. But since there was an acronym, it broke my brain. So that that's on you for breaking my brain. That's 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 you. What do I do here? I don't. I'm not really seeing it. Is it another hazmat run? Uh oh. I mean, this might just be hazmat again. I really think it's just hazmat again. We save yellow jacket so that we can contest strange Academy. So we put the hazmat down and we put the Zabu down and we put the Zabu down. I have to imagine there's, there's probably not a lot of, are there a lot of chrono triggers? How's the chrono trigger? Category, Gooey. Because I feel like a lot of those old games, like, the entire category often tops out at, like, maybe 500. And that's that's if you got, like, a speedrunner, you know, really going at it. When did they give Odin this new lightning effect? It didn't always have a lightning effect when you held Odin, did it? I'm pretty sure this is new. Wow, they just really going hard on the left. I don't... Did that just win it for me? No, because they're still at four? Oh, but yeah, then we do it again? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Hazmat's good? Hazmat Luke Cage is disgustingly good? What? Why didn't anyone tell me this secret before eggs? What? What? Guys... Why is it that I'm just... Okay, you're right. It's my fault. It's Shuri. It's... I did... I only tried this deck because it had Shuri in it, and I'm all surprised about Hazmat. You guys are right. I don't listen to anybody unless they tell me Shuri. Yeah, Jinsu. Uh, good to see you in chat. Welcome, man. I agree. I agree. I think it's a new animation. I don't remember seeing that on Odin. Right? And typically, if there is an animation when I pick it up, like, I, I end up playing with it more, right? So the fact that I have a habit to just dump Odin all the time really makes me feel like he wasn't always that way. 
Let's play in the unrevealed location, see what happens. Yeah, and Gooey, to be honest with you, like, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure how Twitch even calculates viewers, right? Because there are people that, in, in real life people that I know watch me and watch, like, some of my very, very early streams. And it just so happens to, you know, like, because they would Chromecast it or whatever, like, after a while, like, the view count would be weird. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The, what's important is that you had fun doing it. And that I followed you. So the next time you go live, I'll get that notification. Yeah, that's true, Dad Tactical. Wumblebee do be talking about that hazmat cage combo a lot. I realized it, right? I, I realize why. What's wrong. And what's wrong is the fact that, you know. Is that if you didn't put Shuri in the deck, I wouldn't have paid attention to this. I'm just, I'm just so in love with Shuri, guys. I've been in love with her since day one, and I'm tired of pretending like I'm not. Do I want to wave this? I kind of feel like I want to wave this, but I don't know why. We could lock out. Isn't that good? Is a lockout good? I think a lockout's pretty good. Because they're Death Wave, right? Oh, wait. If we just perpetually lock out, then they just always have it. Oh, they will definitely nerf Shuri, Jensu. They've already uh, mentioned it, right? Like, it's it's more than an over-the-air uh, kind of change that they're looking for. So that means, like, some kind of rework, some kind of change to her her mechanics and how the card acts. So I'm interested in it. I think I think Shuri will still be good. I think like they're trying to protect the doubling because that is very much her identity. It works with her location as well, right? So I think they want that synergy and that lore. But she she needs to slow down. I, I understand she's the best deck out there right now, um, and that's that's just the we need more decks, right? We need more decks out there because it's fun to play against a diverse library of matches and not just the same match. Yeah, I, I'm hoping they don't leader her. Like, if they end up... Um, if they... If they... Uh, not leader. Uh, if they arrow her, I might be okay. Because arrow actually surprisingly... Less problematic than I thought. Is this going to win me the game? I put 8 down on mid... And then five on right. I just don't see this winning it for me. And it's because I played the yellow jacket. I'm supposed to retreat here, right? There's nothing I can really do for a surprise. I think I retreat here. 4-2, on reveal. Double the power of the next card you play, named Black Panther. There you go, Gooey. That's just increasing the lore synergy right there. Yeah, just keep on that grind, Gooey. Ooh, Gooey. I beat every SNES game challenge for your stream identity. Um, there is a guy who does that, by the way. I mean, it's it's to be fair, like it's the it's the Simpsons gag, right? Like there's not an original idea anyway. Simpsons have already done it. But um, it's it's a good I think it's a good bit. And uh, there's a community out there that would would be down for it. Oh, you got it from a guy doing N64? Nice. Nice. Wow! Wow! The Cosmo Prediction! Wow, chat! Oh my goodness. What do we fucking do now? Uh, I think we fucking leave. <laughs> God bless. 
This gentleman does not chew Big Red. Wow, and it's a it's a Shuri deck. It's a Shuri deck. All right, so the only hope I have, right, is to wave past the two, then She-Hulk and Doom. But that's not enough. It's not going to happen. Because the only thing that I really block there is jack shit. So we're out. We are out. GG's. GG's. I think we may have had a shot if we didn't get predictably Cosmode. But that's okay. That's okay. We're getting this deck. We're understanding how it plays now, which is really good. And we're at a net cube of zero chat. So we have bounced back all of our net cubes. So that's that's good because we also have a um, a bad W to L. We only have a 37.5% win rate, which means that we are we're retreating really well. All right means we're retreating really well. Okay, our opponent is like a lockjaw big shit deck. Which kind of blows for us. Let's get the Zabu down. I don't know, maybe we can get all of our stuff out early enough? Oh wow, they just gave us plus one power, thank you. Thank you. They're hoping to find the loot cage from our deck. We're not going to let them see it. We got their M'Baku. That's big. That's a real big chat. I mean, Thor's probably the best card, right? It's just very disappointing that we are never drawing that hammer. But if they draw the hammer, it's a dead draw. So I think it's still a good play. You have company on the way, Gooey? Hey, appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good one. And you have a wonderful night. Enjoy the company. And we'll see you around, my friend. Hmm. Interesting. Can we can we get everything out of our hand and actually get this Dracula off? I think we're supposed to try now, right? I think we're supposed to try. Let's try. Let's give this a try. I mean, Dracula is really good. We've got the Infinite. We can, we can always bail. If we get scared... Ooh, they got our Shuri. Don't forget to chew Big Red, everyone. Appreciate that, Gooey. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I still think we can do it. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Oh, they got a big vision? What a rip. Oh, of course we pull Chavez. That's actually a little painful. I should have known it was Chavez. Of course it was Chavez. We don't have anything big in our deck, right? That vision's real scary. They probably moved the vision mid, right? And not to New York. I wouldn't move the vision to New York. Because everything else can move to New York, but nothing can move mid. And he could win mid single-handedly that way. Yo, Val, coming in and raiding. Good to see you, Val. Good to see you. Um, I really need to figure out which command Micho is so upset about in my automatic raid shout-out. Uh, but good to see you, bud. How, how, how many... Uh, Guys, how many seeds did we end up with? How many Giaz did we end up finding? Victory. Yeah, we won that? Let's go. They didn't move the vision. I expected them to move the vision. Um, I think we won that primarily because Dracula won the 50-50. I'll take it. 858. Holy smokes, Val. I... I, uh, I applaud you and your commitment to all of these golden, golden seeds. These tiny little Korok seeds. The apple's still not fully spawned back in. I was scared about that, honestly, Val. When I was looking at it, it's like a, a one 
percent chance every minute for shit to grow or something and i started reading that and i was just like oh my god the the rng lock on this is does not look great yo we're gonna play a pet in pet mansion that's just thematic oh we won no matter the 50 50 excellent excellent well that just shows how strong this deck is we're up one cube. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. They bossed Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to Shuri. I'm going to go ahead and do the Shuri. Mm, I think I want to leave. I think I want to leave this fight. This doesn't look good. This is what they the kids would say looks bad. We get Doom out early though, and if our next two draws are Odin Yellow Jacket, then we might be okay. We might be okay. I am really glad that you're playing Breath of the Wild, Val, because with uh, Tears of the Kingdom coming out, like I just, I straight up do not have the time to play through Breath of the Wild. So it's nice to be able to see some good breath action before Tears comes out. I did not I did not get the elusive yellow jacket. I actually think this is enough though because 5 here ties. They can't do a mystique. 5 here wins, 8 here wins. I think putting enough around the board might get us there. What are they going to do? Right? Yeah, I think we've got this. Yeah, not playing snaps the only reason you have time. There you go, Val. I I can feel that, man. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, wait. Wait, the Mysterios? Oh, they don't care. They got blasted. They're all three no matter what. Oh, that one turned into a four? What? Uh Oh, it turned into a four because of uh Blue Marvel. And then it lost the Patriot buff. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, I'll take our two cubes. Yeah, I think we all went a little hard on Snap, and I'm really glad that you're doing what you're doing, Val. Um, I do want to see you return to Snap, but I don't care if you do. Like, I mean, of course I care. I care that you do what you enjoy, right? Like, I guess my point being, like, if you're not playing Snap, I'm still watching, and I'm still hanging out, but... Um, yeah, there was... <laughs> I swear, it's like... Uh, right after, right? Like right after you're like, okay, I'm done with snap. Then I hear about a tournament that's actually happening during the weekdays. Cause I know that weekends were just really bad for you. And that was the reason why you couldn't play in like any tournaments. And it was just like, well, that would be the fucking luck. Wouldn't it? But hopefully, hopefully, right. That hopefully means that we are seeing some, evolution there right we are going to see some level of competitive snap play open up even more and more so maybe when you come back it'll be there i hate this tva i don't know how i'm supposed to play this tva i think i just have to go for doom bot like i have to go for the doom bot and I think I play this over a Nova Roma to force them into playing on Nova Roma. Actually, fuck that. I'll play the Yellow Jacket on Nova Roma. Cosmo over on our right. Okay, I can live with that. Didn't get the Doom Bot. Did not find the Doom Bot. What a shame. I think we're supposed to leave. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to leave here.
I don't want to. I don't want to leave, but we're supposed to leave. I can't feel comfortable enough with that. I guess, like, that was a Shuri deck, right? It was a Shuri deck, so they probably didn't have anything, but... I was not... I was. I just wasn't feeling it. You know? We're up two cubes. Let's stay up two cubes. No reason to go down to being only up one. This doesn't look terrible. Pet Mansion? Okay. But yeah, that, that fight against Ridley last night, guys, like, holy smokes. Like, I completely forgot that we hadn't fought Ridley. And then it was just an insane battle. And thankfully, thankfully, finally got through that. But I had my sights set so freaking hard on just making sure that I finished Super Metroid last night that I did stay up way too late. But I bounced back. I got through the day. It wasn't too bad. But that does mean that we can go to Crowd Control Super Mario World next Tuesday, and I'm super stoked about that. Wong, you showed up too late, bud. I need a Doom now so that I have the opportunity to Odin later. There's the hazmat. That's okay. We just need to find um we just need to find our loot cage. Oh yeah, Val. Most definitely good, sir. So yeah, I think I think what I want to do is What I want to do is next um next Tuesday try to do the whole me versus chat. And just put a timer on the board and uh, see if I can beat Bowser in time. There's the loot cage. Nice. And then Sunday, we've got our big 12 and a half hour stream for hitting the 1250 follower goal. Uh, so I might play a little bit of crowd control that day uh, just to give people a chance to get coins and stuff. But I'm definitely I'm not going to do the whole the whole bit. I need to learn when to snap with this deck. I need to learn when to snap with this deck. And I think part of snapping with this deck is snapping with your draws. Right? Like the Shuri deck that I normally play, the early setup is so important that you don't really snap thinking that you're going to get into a draw. You just snap when you have the combo in hand. But this one, I feel like we've got to snap into our draw some. Up three cubes, 46.2% win rate. We're starting to bounce back. We definitely lost the first couple, chat, but I expected to as we sit here and learn the deck. All right, we can get into Luke's bar with our trusty, handy, dandy Dr. Doom so long as we draw it. Uh, we have Zabu, which is a pet going into Pet Mansion, a beautiful-looking kitty cat. So that is just soaked in lore. Uh, it is a proven fact that when you play in Marvel Snap, um, according to the lore or according to uh, art synergies or anything like that, location and uh, card pairings, it actually increases your RNG. So thanks to that, we have just uh, doing Zabu, an animal, into Pet Mansion, has increased our RNG for Ironheart to hit exactly what we need to hit. Also, look at that. See what I'm talking about, chat? Did not hit our Wong. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I knew that would happen. Why do we have two Shuris? Because of the hub. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I am definitely fearful. I am now fearful 
of the gambit. But let's give it a try. Oh, they didn't put gambit on left again? Oh, instead it's their Wong. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is just good, right? Yeah, this is just good. Because then we can play She-Hulk next turn. She'll be an easy two energy. And we also have a Shuri in case we need it. Ooh, Dracula. Are we scared of that Dracula? Maybe a little bit. We definitely beat it with a She-Hulk. I'm just doing that. And it really doesn't matter where we play. It does matter a little bit. If they have a Doctor Doom. Let's say they have a Doctor Doom, then they win Luke's bar. But a Doctor Doom will not beat us here. So we definitely need to win the hub. So I definitely want to play my big power She-Hulk over here on the right. Fuck him. Fuck him. I was just thinking to myself, chat, that I'm not going to boomer snap this fool. So the fact that they snapped is perfect. That's perfect. They don't know we have another Shuri. They didn't check this to see it was created by the hub. They think that their fancy dancy gambit that they're going to play on mid there that's going to destroy two cards is going to be enough. But, oh, it's not even that. It's MODOK. It's MODOK. So they're not going to get their hella out. They're just going to get a big Apocalypse. That Apocalypse is not bigger than my 36 power She-Hulk. Eight cubes. Eight cubes. There's a tiny little baby Apoc, right, Cruel Master? We got bigger Apocs running uh, Lockjaw discard. And this guy's just doing Wong Modok? They think that's enough? You think that's enough to fight my 36 power She-Hulk? Alright, wait a second. Real quick, sure you're not sorry. This is perfect. All right, I got that Nemesis paint. Double the Shuri, double the fun. Amen, Cruel Master. Amen. Tinker's Workshop. We get a Luke Cage down early. Let's go. I'm okay with that. Save this image as a JPEG. Hazmat's too early, right? We don't want to put Hazmat down yet. It's way too early for Hazmat. Hell's Kitchen? Alright, got ourselves a rock and a sunspot. Let's go. That's just too good. That's just too good. Um, I'm actually really scared about this. <laughs> That's a good rock. <laughs> That's a good rock. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm thinking this is a hazmat game, so we need the Wong down. Hmm, bounce bro duck. So they're going to hit me with another rock. I mean, this looks pretty good, right? We have the combo in hand. Um, 
they do have priority this turn, so we are hitting that unless they falcon this turn, which I don't see them doing. Nice. Later, opponent. Thank you for accepting the snap before you left. I really appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. Let us go. I, I'm, I'm loving this deck, chat. I'm loving this deck. All right, there we go. That's right, Chad. I did it. I did it. I posted to Twitter live on stream. Shuri, not sorry. Because, uh... I'm not sorry. I love Shuri. I just skipped that turn. Was that smart? Oh, yeah, it was just Hazmat in hand. It wasn't Luke Cage. I didn't really pay attention. Luke Cage and Hazmat are both very yellow cards. I need to... Focus up. Pay attention to that kind of shit. Uh, this doesn't look good for us, right? Against Beautiful Joe here. I wonder if this is a bot. Hmm, maybe not. Yo, Captain Wigan. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you in chat. Uh, am I getting the car bundle or the dog bundle later this month? Uh, yes. Probably. What's in them? What's in the cat and dog bundle? Probably. If it's these cute fucking anime, or not anime, animal variants, I'm all over it. I am all over it. Yeah, I, I know, you meant cat. Sorry, I should have <laughs> I should have clarified that I, I figured out the uh, typo. Um, God damn it. Did we really just go into Doctor Doom here? Did we really just find Doctor Doom off the top deck like a fucking boss? Um, this is Galactus, though, right? This is Galactus. You're not sure? I mean, if they're if they're good looking variants, I'll pick them up. Okay, so it's it's Galactus or Destruction, but they already played their death, so we're not scared of Galactus anymore, right? Like, there's no reason to be scared of Galactus. You like that one power sunspot play? Uh, and by power, I mean energy. It's zero power. We're not getting that sunspot any power whatsoever. But he's there, right? He's hanging out. He's going to help maybe potentially block against a hobgoblin or something. I don't know. Oh, well, not anymore because they have the prio again. Uh, This is technically... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is technically one extra power there. Technically. I don't think we snap here. They're obviously not going to Galactus. It's a destruction deck, but what do they play as their big, their big finishing move? They've already played their death, right? A very pretty death, by the way. We should eyeball that. Null. Null's a good one. Null would be good to play. But I think this is enough to get us there, right? Putting 10 power over on left is going to get us at the 16. Uh, we've definitely won the right, uh, so we don't really care about Baxter building. That is a classic example of over committing to Baxter building. Yeah, where's my speed up? I don't need to watch all these fucking wave animations. At least we didn't have to watch the Doctor Doom animations again. Victory. All right, that's another two cubes. Yo, we are rank 87. What the fuck? This deck is busted. Is not even always Shuri, right? Like, we're not always winning with Shuri. Like, that wasn't Shuri at all. Sometimes it's Hazmat. Sometimes it's Doctor Doom. This... This deck's just good. 56.3% win rate. We are up 15 cubes. We have played a total of 16 games. A 15 cube on 16 games. And remember, chat... I'm the one piloting the deck, okay? 
You get, you don't forget that. I'm piloting this deck, so it is full of potential chances and potential misplays. This is this is the channel of mispronunciations and misplays. So just imagine what you could do with this deck. They snapped us? Why would you snap us? You're a Galactus deck? That likes the location restriction of Death's Domain and can get your Nimrod and Wolverine over? Oh, amen, Cruel Master. Amen. What do we have in hand? Nothing, right? Well, not completely nothing. Mostly nothing, right? We have mostly nothing. I don't like it. I'm out. I don't like it. I don't I don't think we ever beat Galactus there. And I'm not sure it was a Galactus deck, but turn six death's domain for Galactus is is a little nutty. Randy Savage from the top rope. I wish you could emote people's avatars. Be like, nice combo. However, you're running not maybe not the best avatar, right? You got a good name, title combo, but maybe not the best avatar. Yeah, we got Plunder Castle. We've got Wong. We've got Odin. We've got Doom. This is nice. I like this a lot. Uh, maybe I actually should have played Luke Cage over on right, just in case I can't play here. Yeah, see that fudge, 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 fudge. All right, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, this is correct. This is correct. We're snapping. We've got it. Yo, Rickster, you're home. Welcome home, Rickster. How's it going? How are you doing on this wonderful Wednesday? We are climbing like a motherfucker with a, just a carton of eggs. A carton of good eggs. Eggs for sale. An amazing, um, amazing streamer uh, posted this deck. Now, she said in her tweet that she did not make this deck. She does not remember where she found it. All right. And I would just like to remind everybody about the Simpsons rule. The Simpsons already did it. There is no such thing as an original idea. But she fucking posted the deck. I saw Shuri in it. I said, fine. If it can get eggs 50 cubes, then it can get me at least 30. And it at least has Shuri in it. So let's go. Let's figure this one out. And uh, we are up 15 cubes in just 18 games. Yeah, she is great. You might have to try this deck, Dad Tactical. It, it is fucking working. And, and, and... Yo, check this out. Here's the crazy part. It's fun. It's fun. So that's kind of insane, right? What am I looking at here? Actually, Hala after turn four, destroy all the cards of the player losing here. I don't know if we can win that necessarily with Doom, can we? Because they play there, right? So I think we just put Doom here. We put Doom here. We get Hazmat down. And we find our fucking Luke Cage. Doom would have won it, actually. Funny enough. We could have played Doom there. O-M-G. This is not Hazmat. This is Yellow Jacket. Never mind. But we did get the Luke Cage. That's big. That's big. Uh, why is that big? Because our opponent put rocks on our side of the board, which makes me think that our opponent wants to play hazmat. Now we're going to get a doom bot on left and right next turn. So we can put Luke Cage in the middle. That's fine. Or we can put Luke Cage to the right. I'm going to put Luke Cage in the middle because I, I'm, I'm winning by less points there. I guess really, wait a second, no, 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 undo this, undo this, right? We're winning by less points in middle, so I'm going to put Yellow Jacket in the middle, and then that way we get the Yellow Jacket animation off of the Odin so that we get two animations with our Odin proc. That's going to be big.
been playing that Patriot Monkey Dad Tactical. I'm just not a big fan of the Patriot. I don't know why. It just does not resonate with me. Ooh, Shauna and Dazzler from a pink a Binks vid. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. I think I've seen that list before. I think I remember watching that video. I don't 100% can't 100% recall. I saw a good couple of Shauna Dazzler videos. I couldn't get it to work personally, the Shauna Dazzler combo, but I like the idea of it a lot. I really do. I mean, this should get us there, right? Oh, the Yellow Jacket animation was nothing. It just kind of blinked, and so did Luke Cage. That's fine. 80 cubes Sunday night? Hot damn, Rickster. Hot damn. The surprise value Patriot has? It... I did, I did sleep on hazmat. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Did I sleep on hazmat? Or did I wake up with hazmat too fucking early and have to go back to sleep? And now we're finally waking up at the same time. Because uh, I did like me some toxic decks, right? Like I loved, uh, I did a couple of streams of just like, um, you have no power here and stuff with, with early hazmat. Uh, but it, she wasn't actually all that great. Now that Luke Cage is out, I never went back to hang out with Hazmat again after Luke Cage came out. So, but now you're right. I did. I was. I've been sleeping on Hazmat for a hot minute. I've been sleeping on Hazmat for a hot fucking minute. Let's go. Is this actually good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna draw Odin, right? So we're not gonna snap. Hella deck? A hella deck and you've got a bunch of rocks? We also have a bunch of rocks? A sunspot? To make up for all those rocks you're Maybe. you're gonna be not playing? Yo, Sunny Wee! Thank you so much for that follow, friend. Uh, we recently hit our 1,250 follower goal, so we'll be making a new follower goal before too long. But uh, that follower goal did find ourselves a 12 and a half hour stream on Sunday. So, new friend Sunny, thank you so much again for the follow. You'll be getting that go live notification for Sunday's 12 and a half hour stream. Where the fuck is my Odin? I mean, I think we just win this one, right? We just do this and win. This seems easy enough. What is that? Is that your Hella? You dirty, dirty dog. Yeah, there you go. Still got it. Still got it, baby. All right, I cannot believe that they actually had Hella. They actually drew the Hella. I guess they could have had the Hella when they played the Lady Sif, right? Because death serves as protection, so maybe they already knew they had Hella. But yeah, like, Ghost Rider just brought back a rock. The only things you discarded this game was death and a rock. Honestly, that's the one place death... Well, we would have had... Yeah, if death would have... No, we won. We won that no matter what. No matter where death went, we won no matter what. That is, that is beautiful, beautiful. Dude, we might we might get that ninety before the end of stream, especially if I sit here and hold my bladder for the next hour. Sixty percent win rate. We are up nineteen cubes, twelve to eight. That's twenty games played, guys. That is almost a cube per game. No P break till 90. No fun till infinite. No piss till 90. Let's go. Yo, is this one of the places where I don't play Luke Cage and I win bar with no name because I have hazmat? Is that possible? Can we do that, Chad? I don't know if it's actually possible. Are 
our opponent a very obvious Shuri deck playing big power early on. This deck does not have arrows, so we're not going to be able to punish them too terribly much. We do not have Shang-Chi either. So they are taking early. Uh, they are taking early. Hmm, very early. Prio. I do think we lost this. I think this one's a lost chat. I don't see us winning this one. Just to be honest with you. Or they went ahead and played the Red Skull, so they don't have Shuri in hand, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. Yo, Zenpai, we've played before? Nice. Is your in-game name, um, and welcome to chat, good to see you in. Is your in-game name the same as your Twitch name? I will try to keep an eye out for it. Yo, wait. Wait, chat. We win bar with no name. Look at it, chat. Look at us win bar with no name. Oh my fucking god. Should I snap this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta do this in order. We have to do this in order. So She-Hulk has to go here for the Shuri buff. Right? That's gonna give her... 18. So that pushes us over. But the hazmat's gonna take 3 off of us. So we're at 15. So we're right on tie. We're right on tie. So we put the sunspot there. We put that there. We put the yellow jacket. We put the Zabu. I don't know why. Just to get the uh, the differentials a little bit better. If they don't play on Pet Mansion, we win. We need them to not play on Pet, Pet Mansion. Your in-game name is 9Rogue90s. All right, got you. I'll keep an eye out for it, bud. Glad that we played against each other. How's your how's your climb going? Where you at? This deck that um, Eggs for Sale tweeted this deck. She found it from somewhere. She can't remember where. So I decided to try playing it. Um, I'm definitely a Shuri not sorry person. I've been playing Shuri since the beginning. So. Um... Oh. Oh, Sunspot. Sunspot got a little bit extra help. Did we le did we float some mana? Did we float one mana for Sunspot? Shit. Shit, my perfect plan backfired. Wasn't such a perfect plan. Oh no, it was the dog. It was the dog. Okay, okay. Okay, it was the dog. Cool. That wasn't my fault. That was the dog. Okay, I had a really great plan there. Really fantastic plan. I guess that makes sense. They would put down the protection on Taskmaster because Red Skull is technically a less likely target for me. Also, they were already very much winning this lane. Mm, I should have thought about that. I should have thought about that. That's that's me. Ooh, Zenpai! You got up there to infinite. Very nice. Isn't it a beautiful sleeve? Like, oh my god. Is that not just absolutely gorgeous? Like, I, I, I always go for infinite for the bragging rights. I've been infinite uh, since my first real season back in beta. Uh, I, I wasn't around at the very beginning of beta. I, I came in after um, Lady Foster. Lady Thor Jane Foster. But that is that is a beautiful sleeve. Holy smokes. The goodest kitty cat you've ever seen. Oh, Zenpai, we're, we're, are we friends? We feel like friends. Just fucking love that kitty cat. Good, love that good, good goose girl. Uh, good boy goose. Yo, just chilling, bro. Good to see you in chat. Welcome in. You don't like the sleeve as much? You prefer the last one? The last sleeve was pretty good, too. The last sleeve was pretty freaking good, too. And then we go ahead and get the Zabu down.
it is definitely a preference thing, right, bro? 100%. But I think they tried a couple different infinite awards. Um, I don't know. I like. I, I, I need to go back and play a season of Hearthstone is what I need to do. Not to get legendary, not to get legendary, just to reacquaint myself with their climb, right? Because there's that post game of legendary where you get into legendary and you're like actually ranked. But legendary never felt achievable for me in Hearthstone. I never felt like I needed to go after it. Um, whereas, like, for some reason, there's this pressure in Marvel Snap that everyone thinks that you are supposed to hit infinite. And, like, I fully anticipate beyond the shadow of a doubt that I will eventually no longer be able to hit infinite. I will hit my MMR ceiling. The skill in this game will increase, um, and I just won't have the time or the skill set to actually get there. So, just IMO. I'm not, I'm, I'm not not going to always be there but but i forgot where i was going with that fuck i know where i'm going with this though holy shit have i already snapped i have already snapped do we need to get yellow jacket down for any reason why not let's get yellow jacket down before we can't and then just god that's such a big she hulk we have dr doom to contest plunder castle still uh we have a hazmat luke cage combo still just sitting here waiting this is disgusting oh my god and luke cage is gonna help us on the soul stone oh my goodness you like the red sleeves last season over the yellow uh but the theme was sick the theme was sick um i was actually hoping that instead of getting the x-man symbol in golden, I was actually hoping for the sentry head to be golden, but that that's not what happened. We just win this. I've already snapped. We just win this. <laughs> the way Kitty Pride broke the game, it seems like things will progressively readjust the meta. Um, yeah, I can't wait for Kitty Hit Monkey either, Zenpai. Hundred um, percent. Yeah, she did. She did definitely break them the whole game there for a while. Unfortunately, seeing her taken all the way out of the game was was very sad. But it it happens. It happens. Um, five mid does not win for me. All right. Five mid does not win for me. Does minus eight win? Does eight win? Right? Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Um, minus eight doesn't win. Thirteen, thirteen to eight, five. We'll be at twenty-seven. Twenty-seven to eighteen's nine. Cool, yeah. Play Thanos on Plunder Castle. I don't give a fuck, bud. Oh no, it's Magneto! Magneto! Oh my goodness! Very good job. I definitely expected the uh, the Thanos to come down. Our opponent playing Magneto. Okay, we lost the eight cubes. Um, that's on me. I think I, I already fist bumped him. I initiated that interaction. Um, yeah, Hazmat was definitely strictly worse. That's all right. It works out. It works out. It's no big deal. We can get those back. I got surprised by an eight cuber. I got too focused on Thanos, right? I was like, oh, they're going to play Thanos. No way that they'll play... A 12 power card. I'd like to find Hazmat. You know what I mean? Okay. 
Thank you, Triskelion. Yeah, I like I like the regular the regular blue goose skin as well. It is it is very nice. It looks a little like I don't know this one. This one to me looks like it is. Uh, if we can see it again, right? It kind of looks like it's more like solemn cathedral. Whereas the other one almost looks like holy, like a stained glass window where this one looks like an actual scene. Do we just destroy her here for 15 power somewhere? Actually, why would I want to do that? Is that better than doom? I mean, doom is 15 power too, right? The problem is, is I don't have enough room to really utilize Doom. Yeah, I don't have enough power to utilize Doom. I don't know. This is awkward, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Where do they have the most power? On Kazar? Kazar for one drop. So they're, they might be an Ultron deck. They have Zabu. So maybe not. I'm playing over on Central Park. Dino. Okay, okay. I don't care, dude. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hazmat might be enough here. Mystique to another dino. Okay, that's a little scary. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, interesting, right? So this is minus two, brings it down to 15. We win that if they don't play anything. This is minus three, brings it down to 12. We've got eight. We're at 12. We tie if they don't play anything. Uh, this is minus two. We win that if they don't play anything. Then we still have six power. So they need to contest all three lanes. And they probably don't, right? They probably only contest one lane. I'm not going to snap it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it for the four, but I'm not going to snap. Oh, that hurts. That fucking hurts. Oh, my God. Cosmo? A second Cosmo that has blocked my plans. All right. That's painful. That is painful. All right. Bad news, chat. Uh, between the eight and that four, we are now only up five cubes. That's okay. That's okay. I just got to start retreating again. Got to start retreating again. Yeah, Cosmo is, has been wrecking my day. Another Central Park. Okay. Interesting enough. Another Triskelion, maybe? Give me another Destroyer? No? Okay. Hmm... Another hazmat run. Got another chance for hazmat. Yeah, I think we've gotten blocked by Cosmo about three times. I think you're right, Dad Tactical. I actually think Wave's good here if we're trying to go for Hazmat. Jury. Okay, we're gonna get Cosmode again.
There's their big card. Yeah, we lose this. They just Taskmaster over to right, right? That's all they need? Just Taskmaster? They only need the Taskmaster. Minus three, twenty-three. Eight and sevens, obviously not twenty-three. All right, we got to leave this. No more, no more just leaking cubes, chat. No more leaking cubes. Well, turn one sunspot, why not? Rickety bridge kind of sucks. Um, if we find doom, then we get a contest lick, uh, lickety bridge? No, rickety bridge for free. Yo, unhelpful Yoda. Good to see you in chat. Welcome in. I do have the best iron heart. That is true. That is by far the best iron heart. I like this location. This is a good location. Titan. Ooh, Titan. Titan. I mean, I guess we we could pump Sunspot for three. I don't think that matters. Let's just let's just go ahead and put down wave. All right, they get the bishop. I'm not going to be playing a bunch of cards this turn, at least. Wow, we find the Wong. We found the Wong. Yo, magic coming in. Oh, I wish I knew that. Raise your wongers. Raise your Incafied wongers, chat. I want to move this wong. I want to move it over here to where I have more room. Please. Blue Marvel? So is this a Mr. Negative deck that didn't find Mr. Negative? Is that what we're looking at here? Kind of feels like it's what we're looking at. Or at least we can know for sure if we win middle. Oh, Iron Man. Okay. Yeah, we definitely win middle. This is 16 to middle. Do I boomer snap here? I'm not going to boomer snap. Hey, the Havoc. Good to see you in chat. Welcome in. Um, so I have to ask, do you pronounce your name as GC? Uh, I mean, I don't normally talk to myself, Havoc. So, because Val makes it sound like GC, and that's not the standard Jesse. Uh, it it is by by the meme by the meme to Havoc. It is pronounced exactly the way that you guys pronounce it. Every time you pronounce it, you have pronounced it correctly. So if it's Jesse, if it's GC, if it's G's, if it's G's, if it's JJ, whatever it is, that is the correct the correct pronunciation. So, for instance, Carbon calls me JJ. Um, villain 
for uh, a big time called me just Big J or Big James. Um, I'm pretty sure Val does GC more often than not. And it, it, it rolls really well off because he's got that take it easy GC. Um, Styles called me calls me Jesse. So everyone, everyone's got their own flavor to it, and it's however they want to pronounce it. It's 100%. It, it's more than okay. Like, it, it's literally more than okay. It is correct. Pronunciation is in the eye of the beholder. Amen, unhelpful Yoda. I think I'm supposed to snap here because of Vormir and Nimrod. Is that right? Is that good? We have two Doctor Dooms. Is that good? It feels kind of good. I'm going to do it. Right, and part of that to have it is why we've got this as our title, you know? Dude, Havoc, you're you're very, very welcome. Yeah, see, Dad Tactical actually typed it out in chat if you're wondering how to pronounce it. <laughs> Syllabi. There you go. Nice. Yeah, unhelpful Yoda. Nimrod and Devor Mirror. That is that is the golden plan here. So that's a five and a five. So I've got two extra spaces and I have Doom. So that's one space in each. I only have one space in each. Interesting. Next turn's four. I'm going to pass. Mm, they got the lockjaw. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Five, six, and spoken for. So I think we just go ahead and play this here. This nostalgia just hits your heart. It's a freaking fantastic song, Dag Tactical. Absolutely killer. Ooh, Shuri Nimrod on Vormir. That would have been so, ooh, so good, Remedy. I am surprised I didn't see it. By the way, good to see you in chat. Welcome in. I'm actually wondering now if that's if that's the move. Because that puts 10 onto each side, right? But this other move still puts 10 onto each side as well. Yeah, let's just do this. It's fine. It is fine. And then we can put the yellow jacket in right after for an extra two. Or we can hold the yellow jacket and just play it next turn. Why not? Uh, gotta agree with you, Syllabi. By far, Discovery is my favorite album um, that, that they've done. Um, I also really love that the music videos, like they actually tell like this big, long narrative story in the Discovery um, album music videos, which I think is really cool. As I actually think maybe we lose here, right? Like, is five enough on these other lanes? We could put 12 on board. To those lanes. That's technically more, but it goes in random spots, right? Oh, man, that's scary. So this is a consistent, right? Five to everything. Which, which again, is, is, is scary. And we don't win mid. This is 12, but we don't know where it's going. And that scares me. Oh wait, this is not this is not fucking Wong. What am I talking about, chat? Jesus Christ. Wow. I don't know, potent potato. Good to see you in chat, but I don't know. I don't know what I was smoking. For some reason, this in my head was Wong. Right? That does not work the way I think it does. Alright, let's give this a try. Mm, that's enough to get us. That's enough to get us everywhere, isn't it? 
No, it, it doesn't get us on left, but it almost did. All right, I have I have lost all the cubes that we gained. I'm pretty sure we are we are down at zero. And you know why, chat? Everybody out there saw it in the last couple games. You saw me lose the cubes by not retreating. That is what happened. We did not retreat. That is on us. The random access memories, that one was a good one to Havoc. Uh, in general, I'm just a fan of all their albums. They're just this is a fun, good band. Fun, good band. After turn four. So we're playing Wong and Shuri on right. Wong, Shuri, Ironheart, Odin. Yellow Jacket? No, that doesn't make sense. Wong, Ironheart, Shuri, Odin, Yellow Jacket. Now that does make sense. Swap the position of each location. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. There you go, Syllabi. If you retreat every game, you will lose cubes at a slower rate. That is guaranteed. There's the Odin. There is the Odin. Do I snap now? I kind of feel like I'm supposed to snap now. Can we get a puffy jacket? Oh, they left. Okay, well, cool. I, if they leave there, then that definitely means I was supposed to snap. Beyond a doubt. Like, if you snap before turn five and your opponent leaves, then, then you were supposed to snap. That was the correct play. Ecuador. A part-time Avenger. Hmm. Clintar? Make some kind of symbiote? That does kind of actually hurt us. Most of the things we want to stay on the board? Question mark? Camp Leah? All right. Morph? All right. Let's go. That's insane, chat. We'll be able to be one of their cards. Yo, this person unironically runs M Medusa? What? What? Who does that? Oh, we got stormed. Spectrum decks? But this isn't ongoing. Why why would you put this in a spectrum deck? Just cuz? Is that a just cuz? Yeah, we hit their pepper. Not bad. Okay, got you, got you. An all-female deck sounds like an interesting build. I'd be down for that five cent. 100%. Good to see you in chat. Welcome in. Maybe I'm playing against a lower CL player, so they've got Medusa. Maybe it's a bot. Maybe not. We did just lose a bunch of cubes, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if the game tried to service a bot. Just chilling, bro, saying bot. It kind of feels like a bot. Feels like a feel-good bot, right? Like, oh, you've been yeah, losing a lot, so here's a feel-good bot. Lucky ducky. Dude, lucky ducky. I'll tell you who's lucky. Me. Five cent. Thank you so much for the five or for the seven months of nickeling support. Five cent. Appreciate you, bud. Seven whole months. Holy shnikes. We can win against a bot, right, chat? That's possible. Need to get the cubes where we can. 
God, seven months of some of the best channel emotes out there. Holy smokes, five cent. Thank you. God, thank you so much. Thinks Medusa's OP didn't sort by collection level. I guess maybe. Maybe. I mean, I think this is a bot. This feels like a bot to me. We haven't seen proof that it's a bot yet, but they're running infinite split everything with no variant art and no actual splits, which is weird. Five plus two extra special months. Yeah, exactly. Five of them plus two extra special months. All right, let me think about this for a second. Four, six, four, six, three, seven, eight, seven and eight, seven and eight, six, eleven. Hmm. Hmm. Plus we get the nine or we can put 18 in one spot. That doesn't feel as good. I actually think all right, all right, all right, I think it's this. I think it's that. I think it's that, and I think we win. Even if it's a cheating bot, even if they see our play, I think we win with this. Unless that's Shang-Chi. If that's Shang-Chi, I'm, I'm going to be very sad. All right, Taskmaster. I'm very sad, but we still win, right? No, we lost. Damn. Damn. We lost to a bot running Shuri. I could have won a 50-50 if I went with Shuri, but I would have needed to predict where the predict where the She-Hulk went. Which I guess She-Hulk in mid just makes sense. No, they could have put the Taskmaster on left. And so if we went for a 50-50, right, we would have just lost always. Is that kind of what we did? I mean, in hindsight, we probably should have saw the Taskmaster coming. Rough. Rough. Four to a bot. I run I lost to a bot running Medusa. Yeah, five cent. One thousand percent. Man, what what a bummer, chat. What a bummer. We had we had such a good run there. We got 20 cubes and then we lost the 20 cubes. But that's okay. We'll get back. We'll get back. Huh. Huh. It's a decent starting hand for sure. Ice box. Ooh, come on, Wong? Oh, they waved for me. Okay, they waved for me. How nice of them. Hey, I think about this. We've got Hazmat Ironheart. That's pretty good. But if we wave, we can't do it. So that means do we seriously just play a freaking 4-2 yellow jacket? I think we literally play a 4-2 yellow jacket. This is ridiculous. Got to do what we got to do sometimes. Arrow? Okay. I don't mind that. That would have messed up my Wong if I was trying to pull that off. Now, where was Doom? If Doom was in our hand last, last one, we would have been pretty stoked about it. Jubilee, all right, put more stuff on board for my hazmat. Now we have the prio. So this is, let's see here, this is five and another three. Uh, this is just two and six, right? Two and six, yeah. 
So that's eight. That's strictly worse than Odin. Strictly worse than Odin. I don't know. I don't think I don't think we snap. I think we just go for it. Dude, exile deity pulling his wong off on stream. Hey, you, you gotta you gotta have the wongers when you have the wongers, you know? It's just the way that it goes. Is that a win? That's a win. Alright, we'll take it. Good to see you in chat, Exile Deity. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, we are chat, drum roll please, after an hour and 46 minutes of streaming, we ha are at net zero cubes. So, we've had a lot of fun here, we've made a lot of friends along the way, but we are where we started. Ooh, looking and napping, deity, I love me some lurking and napping. I'm a big fan of that myself. Well, welcome in. Got swept up in the raid, I see. Project Pegasus. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I almost messed up. I actually think we want to Odin on the last turn, right? Always, always Odin on the last turn, I think. Yeah, always Odin on the last turn. We can put Hazmat here, though. That's fine. Oh, yeah, get those channel points. But yeah, you got to be there to actively pick up the, the crowd control coins. Which, Deity, next Tuesday on our variety stream, we will be doing... Uh, crowd control Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario World. You guys versus me. I'll put a timer on board and I'll see if I can beat Bowser before the, the timer or if you guys can stop me. I already played Yellow Jacket? No, I didn't. I didn't play Yellow Jacket yet. Ooh, redeeming random. What voice will we end up finding? Uh, let's see here. It is underwater. I bet this one sounds absolutely horrific. But thank you so much, Exile Deity, for redeeming a random voice modification and putting ourselves underneath the water for this afternoon. Uh, I'm just going to assure you here. I'm just going to assure you. I am Otuma. Did I see the new? Yes, I did. Five Cent, the new Super Mario Brothers movie, is a lot of fun. A uh, big time enjoyer of that movie for sure. Um, ten out of ten would watch again, I think. Ten out of ten would watch again. I don't know what I'm doing, chat. I think I'm losing this match. Like holy smokes, you gotta see it, deity. It's so good. It's so good. Five cent. Did you see it? Did you see it yet? What were your thoughts? I thought it was amazing. Personally, I was a big fan. I can play Yellow Jacket too? Just play Yellow Jacket here? No. Do not play Yellow Jacket there. We can play Yellow Jacket here. There we go. Yeah, I had no issues, um, Havoc, with Chris Pratt's voice. If anything, I was impressed. Because, like, he really didn't sound like Chris Pratt. He, he showed that he could do voice acting, which is really cool. Uh, GG's, GG's, getting that Bucky Barnes off. What a rip. What a rip. It was, it was a Death Wave deck that did not play the Death Wave combo. They piecemealed out the Death, the She-Hulk. Wow. What, what an incredible play by our opponent. I am not tilted at all. We have a 50% win rate. Negative four cubes. 
Yeah, it was a very fast movie. Only about, what, like an hour 30, hour 20 or so? But it was good. It was good. And I think that was the appropriate length for that movie, right? I mean, it's supposed to be a family movie. Um, kids don't have a long attention span, you know? Uh, Exile Deity. Um, I don't think that's exactly the way that it goes. Because Charles Martinez is definitely a legit voice actor. 100%. Um, I don't want to spoil anything on the movie, so I won't. But I will say that I I don't think Charles is upset, right? I don't think, and does he do, maybe he does voice acting for like actual movies and shows, but I thought he was like more or less strictly video game, you know? Yo, only. Good to see you, chat. Welcome in, bud. Uh, I would be so down for a Zelda movie. Holy shit. Yeah, I think that's kind of it. Like, you need to have some star power. It's just the way that it is, unfortunately. I am not infinite yet, Owen Lee. We found an incredible deck. We climbed two ranks within an hour, uh, and then within 15 minutes, we lost it all. He does games from what you know? Yeah, I think... I'm, I'm not positive. Again, I can't... I literally can't be positive. I'm, I can't be. But... I believe that he's never, he may have never done like long term stuff. It's more, it was more video games. You think that was like a source of the major up war? Okay, I, I'm down for that. I could, I could see that 100%. I kind of want a hazmat. I think hazmat might be my better play. They have priority. So if it's Galactus, it's Galactus. And there's nothing I can do about it. Because my cards won't flip over. If I had priority, I'd play Ironheart here. But I do not have prio. I'm just honestly going to skip. Yeah, he is in the office. Uh, then he's on the the from the Guardians as well. Um, we can make a really big Shuri here, but I don't think that's good. I really think the Hazmat is the better play. And then we can still play the Ironheart. Let's snap him back. Yeah, he was a great Star Lord. I think the other things that he's mostly done are rom coms. Um, but he's he's pretty good. I like Chris Pratt. I do like him. And again, I think he did a phenomenal job. And like he didn't sound like Chris Pratt, which was really cool. I think that shows that he had a really good voice actor. Uh, Charlie Day is my new Luigi. Holy smokes, chat. Charlie Day did such a fantastic Luigi. I also have to say, like, the portrayal of Luigi, the portrayal of Mario, the characterization of Bowser, I loved all of it. And Princess Peach as well, right? Like, again, I'm not going to give away anything on the movie, but I think they did a fantastic job. Like, fuck casting. I'm not talking about casting. I'm talking about writing. I'm talking about character portrayal. I think they did a wonderful job at all that. Like a good director, right? Like it was directed really well. It, it shows to me, it shows that Nintendo went to Illumination and said, hey, guys, you produce movies. You're a movie producer. We want a movie. But we're going to have all creative control because fuck you. It's our IP that like probably not to that crazy of an extent, but that's just mm, mm, mm. Yeah, peaches, peaches, peaches. Maybe I add that to our our playlist here. Little peaches. Yeah? Little peaches. Yeah, J JB is amazing and that was a huge win. A huge win in the casting and he did he did so good. He did so good. But right like 
with JB in as Bowser, they also basically got a free musician, you know? It's essentially what happened. I don't know, guys. This might be Puffy Jacket. I don't know. I don't know. This might be Puffy Jacket. Uh, agree with that, Dad Tactical. Um, I was I was a little... I didn't quite get cranky at first, but he worked out. Yeah, they have an iron grip on their IPs. I, I really do think that they were all over all over that movie like white on rice on a paper plate in the middle of a snowstorm opponent retreated they retreat because they thought i was just typical shuri i didn't know what we were going to do there that chat i was just going to buff up sunspot and then do the odin yellow jacket combo for lulz one cube i'll take it i love that little cube you can hear it hit the cube purse absolutely amazing Do, 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 do. With a polar bear? Wait, what's what's a polar bear? Please help me get infinite. No. We gotta get infinite ourselves. Not interested in helping other people get infinite. Wong, 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 please, 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 please find me, Wong, please. Oh, as white as rice on a paper plate in a little snowstorm with a polar bear. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, I also forget, like, it's, um... Where, where I'm trying to quote that from is Major Pain. If you guys have seen the movie Major Pain, absolutely amazing movie. But I think it's actually white on rice in a Dixie cup on a paper plate in the middle of a snowstorm. Yo, Exile Deity redeeming Iron Man plays a match. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, bud. Beyond a doubt. We'll get Iron Man up in here in no time. Screw it. Let's get Doom down. I don't care. It's <laughs> five cent. Um, okay. So what does that do, Exile Deity? Uh, I will leave and stop streaming. And instead, we'll get Iron Man to come in here and play a match. That, that's what that does. Oh, got him. Fucking got him. Nice Professor X. Not helping anyone get to infinite. This is These are my cubes. You want me to show you a trick to get that mind off your pain? Also, uh, I'm going to be putting the, the left side of my boot up against the right side of your face. Beats the crap out of him. He goes, I thought you said you were going to kick me in the face. And then he kicks him in the face. Like, don't ask for it, you know? Um, yeah, okay, just one second. Let me get Let me get Iron Man. No, they did not like that Doom at all. I think they didn't like it because of the Professor X. All right, let me get Iron Man out. I wonder if my butt's in the shot. Ooh, butt, 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 butt. Alrighty, chat. I am Iron Man. And I do have a voice mod that kind of goes with this, but I don't know where it is. So the great thing about Iron Man is he has absolutely horrific, bad, just garbage vision. Like, for instance, Iron Man doesn't know where the mouse is right now. Um, that's it's just something something with this mask. Um, Jarvis is offline, and mostly Jarvis's heads-up display is how you find everything. But as soon as we can find a, um, a mouse here, we'll be ready to play. 
There, okay, I found the mouse. It's over on the left screen. It's coming over to the uh, to the snap screen. It's on the snap screen. I've lost it in the snap screen. Oh, there it is. It's on play. All right, let's go. Let's go. Also, Iron Man is really bad at reading chat because of the bad eyesight. It's not that Iron Man's a dick. It's just that he can't read chat. Uh, all right, so we got uh, Kun Loon over to the left. Holy smoking Snokes. A move deck would be having an orgasm right now. Seeing that Kun Lun, uh, further Heimdall, of course. Yo, what's up? What's up there, Exile Deity? Good to see you. This is the real Iron Man, as is apparent. I mean, it, if it wasn't the real Iron Man, could I make noises like this? Oh, wait, no, that's just the lights. Yeah, noises like that? Of course not. Of course not. Owl of Silence, not the greatest place to put Zabu. Uh, we don't want Zabu to die, so we're not going to put Zabu... Actually, you know something? Screw it. We need to put Zabu over on right. Because if we want to go crazy Wong shenanigans, we need plenty of room for that. So hopefully this doesn't destroy Zabu. It's not like Murder World. It is Pet Mansion. Uh, that blows, so we're just going to soak into Sunspot. Luckily, we can do that. Uh, turn 4, we're going to lay down Wong. They hit the Cosmo. That feels really good. Go ahead and lay up for the snap. This does look like I have made a huge mistake because this looks like a Shuri deck. And I don't think our Hazmat Iron Man or Iron Heart, not Iron Man in this deck, but we do have Iron Heart. Um, I don't think that combo is going to get over the top of Shuri, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So we'll just have to see about it. Armor coming in. Titania coming in. All right. We have a Shuri. Now, do we want to Shuri something? Instead of Ironheart, we could Shuri our Odin. We could Shuri our Odin, but that means we have to draw a Yellow Jacket. That's a one in four to draw a Yellow Jacket. One in four to draw a Yellow Jacket. But Odin would be so big, chat. Like, oh my god, Odin would be so big. And then they obviously play... Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Now, they put something big on one of their protected lanes. It's the Red Skull. Oh, shit. Uh, bad news bears chat. We do not have Luke Cage. I was not expecting that. Uh, Luke Cage, Iron Man, not the best of friends. So he did not come to the party. I think we're going to team up with Dr. Doom. Honestly, Dr. Doom's got some metal. I like metal. Just makes sense, right? That puts 10 in mid. 10 on right. We're going to win Kun Lun. We have already snapped. I think Iron Man has gotten us four cubes. Let's find out. Arrow. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's enough to do it? Is that... That's enough to do it. Oh, my goodness. Whoops. Sorry about that. Here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Love it. Love it. Oh. Thank you again, Exile Deity, for... Oh, we got we got GG's. GG's. For the Iron Man plays a match. Uh, I'll give you a little bonus. Iron Man is uh, not going to play anymore. You get one match with Iron Man. But I will give you a Tony Stark match as well. Tony Stark's a little bit easier uh, to play. And he can, he can actually see chat, right? Doom and Iron Man would be a dope team up, wouldn't they? I think so. Yeah, we did not have Luke that match. I was, that was a big rip. Does this still make noise if I press the button? No, of course not. All right, let's see here. Let's see what Tony Stark can do. Iron Man got us four cubes. Will Tony Stark be able to do similar? Dungeon facts, I've got a rock. That's pretty good. Again, I like that combo there. This is a, is that, 
Is that a paid for avatar? That's a paid for avatar, right? But it's a nice one. It's a very nice one. Warrior Falls. Okay, okay. Up against a Thanos deck. Oh. If we two, then it's four, three. We can actually play She Hulk next turn? That feels okay. Crimson. So I think it is She Hulk. We put down a big old She Hulk. There's Bishop. Okay. Cards that cost one, two, and three can't be played here. So we'll put Shuri down here. We're going to Odin the Shuri. And then we'll figure out our last play. Kazar, interesting, trying to buff up those stones, I'm guessing. Here's the Odin. I'm not going to waste this on the Yellow Jacket. We'll just hold on to Yellow Jacket. Because we do have another turn here. Do we think we're going to win? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, chat. And uh, because I looked into the future just now. And uh, yeah. We top deck Doctor Doom, which is absolutely nutty. Pretty lucky on that. It's a paid for one. Yeah, OK, I might have it. I don't know. Oh, it's Mr. Sinister. I don't actually think I bought that one. Chat. Chat. Don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. I told you we were top decking Dr. Doom and look at him right there. That's a Dr. Doom do top deck. Um, yo, actually, check this out. Dr. Doom Yellow Jacket's a bad idea. I have to play the Yellow Jacket first. Dr. Doom Sunspot to protect our Doom bot in Warrior Falls. Easy win. Yo, do you see this Cosmo? Do you see this good boy Cosmo? What the fuck? Back up, back up, back up. Yo, Dave DS, good to see you in chat, bud. Welcome in, welcome in. I am psychic, Captain Wigan. Um, okay, I still think... I still think... Okay, they retreated. I still think we play the Doctor Doom. We just don't play it mid, right? That could have been bad, Dave. Uh, it would have still been 10 power, so if they did nothing, Bishop would have grown because they played something, so we would have been in big, big trouble there. But we saw the Cosmo right in time. Right in time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we were psychic enough to see the top deck of Doctor Doom, but we were blind at first to the Cosmo. A very great Cosmo variant, by the way. I, I like this one. I know we got the new one that just came out through the season pass, but... This is a good one. Good, good Cosmo. Let me, let me pet you. How do I pet you? Good, good Cosmo. Good Cosmo. Anyway, could you check out a deck I've made and maybe give me some tips to make it better? Uh, yeah, Dave DS. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. We are uh, at the end of the stream, so I'm going to check out your deck real quick. And then, uh, then we're going to see about who we're going to raid. Yo, Alves, you're free. Welcome back in. Welcome back in. Doing great. The uh, Carton of Eggs deck doing absolutely fantastic. Um, like within the first hour, we got like 20 cubes and then um, my greedy ass lost like an eight cuber and a four cuber just right away. So we lost those cubes pretty quickly, uh, but we're up plus 12 cubes, 57.1% uh, win rate. We've won 20 games, only lost 15. So I'm, I'm actually a big fan of this deck. Now, granted, um, my other deck is at a 64.0 win rate. The, um, my smaller version of something big, but it's got a, a much larger sample size, right? And I know how to, I know how to pilot that deck really well. So this one's actually fun. Uh, Dave DS doesn't necessarily look like that's a, a clean deck code. It looks like it should be to me. Oh, there it is. I just didn't copy all of it. My bad, Dave. My bad, Dave. Yeah, still profit. Still profit. Amen, Offex. Yeah, no, it was my bad, Dave. My bad. All right, let's place this in. I must have missed a, a copy. Oh, paste later. Why is that an option? Why doesn't it just say no? Like, paste later makes me feel like in five minutes I'm going to have a deck that I didn't look at. 
All right, so let's look at here. Um, ooh, okay, hood, bossed, love to see it. Ebony Maw, Black Cat, Maximus, Jubilee, Atuma, Mary, Oct, America Chavez, Giganto, Infinite. Uh, Dave, get rid of Bost. Get rid of Bost. If you want to run this deck as you currently have it, you either have to get rid of Bost or get rid of 10 cards. You have 10 cards that do not synergize with Bost. It makes the Hood 3 power. It makes your Giganto 3 power. It makes your Infinite 3 power. Get rid of Bost. Bost is out of here. Uh, now... You know what this deck is begging for. You got high power restrictive cards. Um, they never expected three power infinite. All right, fair enough. Inf fair enough, Dave. Fair enough. Uh, what this deck is begging for, right, is you've got some restrictive big power cards. So it's begging for Lockjaw. This this is begging for Lockjaw. It's got Jubilee in it. It's begging for Lockjaw. Now, now that we're begging for Lockjaw, what we're going to do is we're going to take Ebony Maw out. Uh, you do not own Lockjaw. Understood. Understood. Do not own Lockjaw. So we're going to take Lockjaw out. Got you. You don't have Lockjaw. Got you. Yo, Punisher. Good to see you in chat. Keep boss swapping cage to reset power last turn. Kappa. Um... Kind of spicy Punisher. Some very big brains. I'm going to assume that maybe we don't have that. Um, do not own Cage. Oh, oh dude, Punisher, thank you maybe. for that follow. Really appreciate that. You know, we hit 1,250 followers on our last uh, Sunday stream. That means we're doing a 12 and a hey, half hour stream maybe. on Sunday. And Dave DS, a new friend following along. Uh, we'll get a new follow goal before too long, chat. But... 12 and a half hours for it in 1250. Really appreciate you guys. Um, all right. So we don't have Lockjaw. So what did I take out for Lockjaw? It was Ebony Maw. Keep Ebony Maw out of here. We don't want Ebony Maw in here. Uh, we want Dracula in here. Straight up. You want Dracula in here because that's going to get your Infinite. That's going to get your Giganto, right? That's going to help you get these two cards for sure. You do not own Dracula. Dave, you're trying to play a deck that doesn't work. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's take Dracula out then. All right. Um, <laughs> I got you. I got you. This is actually the fun part of uh, deck collecting. Is is Not deck collecting. Deck building is trying to build something uh, with the limitations, right? Uh, so let's see here. Let's see here. No Dracula. Hood and no, mm, hmm, hmm. All right, we're taking Black Cat out. It's it's a nice, it's nice. It is. It's a nice card, but we're taking Black Cat out. We're putting in Cosmo. Cosmo is good with Maximus. It's also good to counter stuff. We're putting in armor. We're putting in armor. You've got these cards. I know you've got these cards. All right. So here's the idea. Armor allows you to play a Tuma, right? Armor allows you to play a Tuma. Cosmo is going to help you with Maximus uh, on your side. Um, you can also put Dr. Octopus on Cosmo if you need the points and not the effect. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of weird synergy there. Um, oh my god, Alves, I love it. Do you have zero, Dave? Do you have zero? Right? Zero. You can play zero before um, Maximus. You can play it before Mary. You can play it before a Tuma. So you do not own zero. Okay, well, keep an eye out for these cards, Dave. Um, all right, so we've got armor. We've got Cosmo. Both of those help with the Tuma. Uh, Cosmo, help, no, armor helps with the Tuma. Cosmo helps with Maximus. Um, I'm guessing you don't have Shuri, right? Or we'd be running Shuri. Uh, Sunspot. Sunspot. Do you have C She Hulk? She Hulk's asking to be in this deck. If you have She Hulk, She Hulk wants to be in this deck. You do own She Hulk. She Hulk wants in this deck so bad. She Hulk. All right. Now let's look at this for a second. Um, 
You've got Sunspot, which helps with She-Hulk, helps with Infinite. Jubilee's trying to big out, pull out these big power cards. Uh, Atuma sucks for Jubilee to pull out, but that's okay. We've got Armor for Atuma. We got Cosmo for Maximus, as well as counter our opponent. Armor helps tech against our opponent. Uh, armor on the Sunspot lane is pretty good, uh, but I agree. This is too heavy, right? This is too heavy. We got no Lockjaw and no, no else. You don't like wave all right lady sif with what ghost rider do you have ghost rider if you have ghost rider then maybe lady sif ghost rider combo maybe all right but wave is really good you do not own ghost rider wave is actually really good here dave uh you do own agatha there you go don't put agatha in this deck wave is actually really good in with she hulk specifically okay so on turn five all you do is play wave and you're like well that's just three power i've got two more energy why would i do that because when you save that two energy she hulk becomes a four four minus two is two and guess what giganto is now four four plus two is six now you can play a giganto and a she hulk by simply waving on turn five naked just a naked wave oh and guess what that two energy went into sunspot all right so that's where your combo's coming in there okay i still do think this is a little top heavy it's a little top heavy okay um i would take out mary mary well no we got we don't have zero take out mary take out mary mary's negative effect is too strong for us we cannot overcome it we can at least overcome a tuma with armor but we cannot overcome mary because we cannot put in zero okay when you get zero you can pop mary back in zero is also good with the tuma but without zero we're just not we're not getting there uh you could potentially run seron right if you had it but seron uh not fantastic either because you've only got the one ongoing, right? The the Bloody Mary. Uh, does not own a Red Skull. I, I think Lizard might be the move here. I think you need, you need more early game presence. Because um, we have Wave now. We're putting in Wave. Um, but we need more early game presence. So... Hmm... Hmm. I would I, I would try to I would say you could run this Dave because I think you like big energy cards but the problem with this Dave is like you need lockjaw you need lockjaw to do what you really really want to do but we're going to try to get there as close as we can wave helps a lot wave helps a lot because then we can play one of our big powers and she hulk on six so that's really good you like them big I do too bud um but but a uh, big number go brrr, um but i think you need more early game presence right so probably dr octopus is the riskiest card in here uh it's fun it's a fun good card um get sherry when you can uh wait wait on it she's about to get nerfed let's see what happens after the nerf right and, hey if Marvel Snap has made one thing clear about the token shop, it's that there are no refunds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so Dr. Octopus, I think, might be a cut here, Dave, for something smaller. An Iceman, a uh, Leopard, not Leopard, Lizard. All right, this is the channel of mispronunciations and misplays. Uh, but I uh, immediately, immediately, Dave, go to this right get sunspot in here get wave in here get mary out of here yo yoda good to see you in chat um but i would i would say you know you obviously want big numbers go burr i feel you but i feel like uh lizard is a big number two energy five two energy for five power i mean just just look at the two energies right if we sort by power the two energies right five that is a big number now yes it goes to a two two if they fill up the lane but if your opponent is willing to fill up an entire lane to get three extra power let them they're over committing to 
the that lane, right? So those are my thoughts, bud. Get a screenshot, hold on to it. Here, I got you. If you want one of these, I'll do that for you. Hold, oh, wait, don't do that. Don't, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. Can I delete my own things? Don't do that. I forgot, um, Twitch doesn't allow that big of a, it's too big for Twitch. It's too big for Twitch. Let me get just the code. I put it into a notepad. By the way, smart move, Dave, right? You put just the code in, uh, you knew not to just copy and paste like I just did. You knew the Twitch, um, Character limit. Strong moves. Strong moves, Dave. Forgot to shout you out for that when I noticed it. Uh, but chat, it is, uh, it's past our time. It's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, we do stream here on Wednesdays from 6 to 8. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll be back in from 7.30 to 10 for some more Marvel Snap. Then, of course, Sunday we got our big 12 and a half hour stream for hitting that 1250 follower goal uh chat you know how it is i've said it once i've said it twice i'll say it again marvel snap is a shit ton of fun but it is more fun when i get to play with you here live on twitch.tv we're gonna go to our credit screen we are gonna find somebody to raid keep an eye out on that credit screen because if you were lurking if you were ch or actually uh, i actually found out sorry sorry lurkers who don't chat sorry you guys are awesome so awesome but i can't actually get the credits to work for you but if you were subbing if you were following if you were chatting if you were just overall being awesome and lurkers, you know you were being awesome. Then your name's going to show up in the credits. Because this is as much my show as it is yours. This is as much your show as it is mine. Chat, thank you so terribly much. Appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time we parted ways, you filthy animal.